Hello and welcome to this Power Designer demonstration. Today's topic is on creating stereotypes with Power Designer. A stereotype is a kind of classifier. The nature of a classifier is that an object can belong to one classification, but not more than one. Stereotypes are used quite often in UML modeling, but they're just as useful in data modeling. For example, you may want to classify certain columns as maybe audit columns or housekeeping columns. A table could be classified as reference data or a staging table. So in the following demonstration, we'll create a stereotype and we'll apply it to a column and run a report using the stereotype as the criteria. After that, we'll add a custom format based on that stereotype. So let's get started by taking a look at our physical data model. This physical data model has several tables with audit columns. These columns are for administration purposes and to make the model a little bit more readable, We'll call them out with stereotypes. So let's start by taking a look at the property sheet for the created by column in the customer table. In the center of the property sheet, we can see the stereotype text field. We can type any text into this box to designate a stereotype. So let's type audit. Now that we've created the audit stereotype, let's return back to the model and take a look at how this is applied. Notice how our new stereotype appears between guillumets, or the greater than, less than symbols that appear on the graphical symbol. Let's now apply the same stereotype to the modified by column. And here, once again, you can see that audit has been applied to the column. Now, obviously, this isn't very productive if you have a lot of columns that qualify as auditable. So next, we're going to take a look at how you can extend Power Designer to accommodate new metadata like stereotypes. It starts with creating an extension file. Extension files provide a means for customizing and extending Power Designer meta classes. Now, don't worry, meta class is just a fancy way of saying model object. Extensions define additional properties for existing object types. So in this case, we'd like to extend a property for a column that includes a stereotype called audit. So let's create the file and then add our model object. Right-clicking on the profile folder, will give us the option to add the meta class or model object we're interested in. Since we're working with a physical data model, all of the model objects will be physical model object types. Our objective is to create a stereotype for audit columns. So the column meta class would be the logical choice here. Now that we've chosen the appropriate meta class, we need to extend that object by right clicking the object to add the new stereotype. The next step in the process is to name the stereotype that we just created. So let's add the name audit in the name box. It's generally considered good practice to comment your work. So let's add a simple comment and then we'll return back to the model. If you turn your attention to the lower left-hand corner of your screen, you'll see a new folder called Extensions. This folder contains our newly created extension for the stereotype called Audit. Now that we've created our stereotype, let's get back to the business of applying Audit stereotypes to the rest of the model. We're going to display all the columns in this model and apply the stereotype as a mass update. This is a great time saver. This window lists all the columns in the model. First, we'll sort the list by comment so we can group the auditable columns together. Now that we have them grouped together, we'll select all the columns we wish to apply the stereotype to. You can see in the list the two columns we manually added stereotype to. When I click in the stereotype field of the first row, you'll notice a button for a drop-down list. When we click that button, 
the audit stereotype we defined in the extension file appears. Without this extension file, this list would not be populated with the appropriate stereotype. Now how's that for productivity? Let's see the results in the model. As you can see here in the model, all the columns have the audit stereotype. Without the option to use stereotypes, most modelers resort to changing the color on the column to specify a particular classification, and that's okay, but there are two problems that arise from that practice. First, without a legend of some kind, nobody really knows what that color means. The other thing is that you can't run a report on the color red or the color blue. So next we'll look at how you can leverage the stereotype that we just created to produce a report. We'll create a list report and use the wizard to help us produce a report based on that stereotype. The first step in the process is to choose the object you want to work with. And since column is the object in question here, let's pick it from the list. The next step is to add the column characteristics we want. In this example, we want the column code, the stereotype, and the table containing the column. The next step in the process is to filter this list of columns by the criteria of stereotype. Here we can see all of the columns for the audit stereotype and what table they belong to. And since a stereotype is metadata and not merely a format of color, it's possible to do a report like this. Okay, now let's take this exercise a step further. What if we wanted a stereotype and a custom color? You can add a custom symbol format to your stereotype. Let's apply a color to any table stereotyped as, let's say, reference data. Since we've already created this extension file in the previous exercise, let's add to it by just double-clicking on it to open it. Let's repeat the same process we used earlier to create a stereotype for a table. Okay, here's where things get a little bit different. We're going to add a custom symbol format to this stereotype. So to do that, we need to right-click the stereotype. From here, we'll choose New, and then add Custom Symbol. With Custom Symbol selected, next we'll format it to add whatever graphical enhancements we want for the stereotype. Here's where you can have some fun and get creative and choose any number of different formats to apply. Here I'm going to apply a fill to the symbol with a color. I prefer lighter colors for fill colors. They tend not to conflict with text too much, but you could get as wild as you like. Let's return back to the model and apply our newly created stereotype for reference data with its custom symbol. Unlike last time, when we manually entered in the audit stereotype, here we can simply choose it from the drop-down list by clicking the drop-down button. And there you have it. We now have a stereotype with a custom symbol of green fill. Anytime we apply this stereotype to a table, that table will have a green fill pattern. So let's just recap what we did. We we're able to create stereotypes for both columns and tables. And on a table, we created a custom format so that when we choose it, we'll get that custom format. Well, that concludes this demonstration of using stereotypes with Power Designer. Thanks for watching.